All right, what I'm seeing here is a wrong answer. If you graph this by hand first, you should get a V shape that's going to actually be not upside down, but right side up. And I did plug in some values for x. If you plug in 0, you get 7. If you plug in 1, you get 8. And your numbers are just going to get bigger. And so you want to see what's going on on the other side of things. In fact, what I really want to know is where's the bottom of the V or the top of the V. In this case, it's the bottom of the V. Absolute value functions have a V shape. And so notice if I put in negative 7 for x, I'll be finding the absolute value of negative 7 plus 7. The absolute value of 0 is 0. And that's the smallest y can ever be. If you plug in negative 8 for x, you'll get the absolute value of negative 1, which is 1. So y equals 1. So negative 8, 1 is a point. If you plug in negative 6 as a value for x, negative 6 plus 7 is 1. Absolute value of 1 is 1. And so those five points, 0, 7, 1, 8, negative 7, 0, negative 8, 1, and negative 6, 1, are more than enough to draw a decent graph. And you should see the V shape. And it's at negative 7, 0 that we have the vertex. So I'm going to click here to do the graph. I'm going to go ahead and clear this. And we know that it's absolute value. We've already done the graph. It's We need to use the template for absolute value, which is the V-shaped template. And the first thing we're going to do, notice what it says. Click the graph to plot the vertex. So it wants the vertex first. So you go to um, negative 7, 0, which is right there. And notice in the yellow, it tells you that it's negative 7, 0. And I'm going to click. And then I can go to any other point. I'm going to go to um, 0, 7. And then we're save, we'll save it. Check your answer. And so that's how you would do that. All right, so that's the end of this video. I hope that helps.